Welcome back, my name is Summer and I have an awesome little DIY trick video to share with you guys today. I have been seeing all over online these amazing ceramic looking, like almost looks like stone vases and just other kind of pottery. Um, there's even like cool sculptures like Jonathan Adler type of stuff um, that I've been seeing online that's kind of like a trend in design and home decor right now. They also come with a very pricey price tag, but I have a cool trick to show you how to do this for very inexpensively. So check out what we did and if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please help your girl out and subscribe to my channel if you guys like these videos. I have some really, really big exciting ones in the works right now and I can't wait to share them with you so you aren't going to want to miss those so please subscribe below so you don't miss them. It's kind of been a design trend right now that's going on um, in home decor, this like stone and ceramic looking vases and pottery. They come at a super pricey price tag and so that's where I found my inspiration from. So I'm out here in my little outdoor patio-ish area and I've we are going to get started on these vase project mixing our paint with baking soda so this little project really requires pretty minimal materials I have just like some little throwaway Tupperwares um, of course one of the key ingredients is our baking soda and some house paint I picked up a sample today of like this pretty grayish color and this is by um, Sherwin-Williams and then I had so much orange paint left over from when I did Courtney's boho bedroom makeover that you can watch up there if you didn't see but anyways I had a ton of orange paint left over so I'm also going to use this. I picked up some really inexpensive vases from Goodwill um, this like pink one this little one this one was like I think these were two for $4.99 and like this cool little one and this one was only 99 cents and essentially they're cute as they are um, but maybe not pink um, at least not for the space that I'm going to be using these in so what we're gonna do is mix our house paint equal parts with the baking soda. The baking soda is gonna add this like really cool texture to the paint and kind of like puffs up. I don't know, it's like some kind of science or something. Anyways, it's going to react and it's gonna actually make these vases kind of appear to be like ceramic or like stone and they're just gonna look super high end without the high end price. So let's start mixing our paint together and see what happens. So I'm just gonna start mixing up my paint now. And I just have like some random paint brushes, so I'll probably like, use something like this one. This looks good. And I think I'll paint um, the gray first to, to practice. So you see this is like a really pretty kind of like stonish looking gray. And I'm just gonna kind of eyeball how much I put in there. And you guys can buy sample color paints. Like this one was um, actually almost a quart and it was only $7 at Sherwin Williams. So that's pretty cool. And then I'm gonna put about equal parts of the baking soda in here. So again, I'm kind of eyeballing this. Hopefully that's enough. So we wanna get it so it's like nice and um, frothy kind of texture in here. And you can already see it's kind of starting to um, puff up. I think I might add a little more actually.
and obviously we want to make sure that we smooth out all of the little bumps and stuff in here but I can already tell that this is like really like starting to like froth up which is what we want Oh yeah. This is looking good. So I'm pretty happy with kind of how this is. So now I am going to paint. put the baking powder in here um, while I let the gray ones dry because I'm kind of I can already tell like these are going to need um, two coats just because it's like kind of looking streaky so I think that's gonna like the streaks are gonna kind of look cool though and add to like the stone looking effect to it um, but I'm not really doing anything particularly special here other than I am trying to go in like a smooth like stroke like all one way instead of painting this way and painting this way and all over I'm trying to go around smooth almost as if it were like real ceramic being spun on the wheel or turned on the wheel um, but yeah isn't this I just think this is really calm and relaxing and a fun little DIY to do at home and I think these are gonna look really cool when they're all done. So I just got done finishing our vases and they came out really great. I think that they look awesome and certainly like far better than what they were. Um, don't forget to paint like the insides of them so they look a little more authentic. Um, be patient because this stuff actually took like an extremely long time to dry. I sped things up a little bit with DIY stuff here doing using a hair dryer. Um, but look how cool these look. I think they look so great, especially like far better than what they were. But they kind of have, they certainly look like stone or ceramic. And I think even like the texture of the brush strokes even kind of adds to it a little bit more. But I think that they're going to look great. And I hope that you stay tuned to see the video where I'm going to be using these um, bases in. So stay tuned for more and have fun doing this on your own time. Like citizenry, is that how you say it? Citizen, citizenry, whatever. Um, yeah, we DIY, which I can't say. Mm -hmm.